Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have square root of x plus x equals 8. Okay, so how do we deal with this? Now let's take x to the right. So we have square root of x to be equal to 8 minus x, right? And then from here, we need to remove the square root from here. To remove the square root, we have to square both sides, right? And then on the other side, I have 8 minus x squared. Okay, so this square root and this will cancel. So x will be alone and it will be equal to 8 minus x multiplied by 8 minus x right x here will be equal to 8 times 8 is 64 then 8 times minus x is minus 8x minus x times 8 that will be minus 8x and then minus x times minus x will give us plus x um, squared okay now let's continue x will be equal to 64 minus 16x plus x um, squared. Now, let's deal with this quadratic equation. I write x squared first, then minus 16, minus 16x, then this becomes minus x on the other side, and then this 64 becomes, okay, it's still plus 64, and everything will now be equal to zero. Now, if we continue, we have x squared minus 17x plus 64 equal to 0. And now, the only way we can solve this is, okay, let's try to use the formula method. I think it's safer and faster. So from here now, our a will be 1, our b will be minus 17 and c is 64. Now, x is equal to minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared, minus 4ac, and everything is over 2 multiplied by a. Now, let's put in the values of a, b, c. Okay, so here now, we're going to have x to be equal to, in place of minus b, I'm going to have minus, minus 17, right, plus or minus, we have minus 17 squared, then minus, we have 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by c, which is 64, okay, so the whole of this will be over, over 2, times 1 because a is 1 x will now be 17 plus or minus okay square root of okay what is minus 17 squared okay so minus 17 squared is positive 289 minus 4 times 1 times 64 is 256 and then the whole of this is over 2. Now let us continue. x will be equal to 17 plus or minus. If you subtract this, you will have 33. And then here we have 2. Now, can we simplify root 33 any further? 33 is um, 3 times 11. And both of them are not perfect squares. Okay. Now let's continue from here. X is now equal to 17 plus square root of 33 over 2. Or we have um, 17 minus square root of 33 over 2. So these are the two you know, solutions that will satisfy 
the equation so you can call this x1 and then call this x2 and then if you want to get decimal you can still proceed and get the value of square root of 33 from a calculator so that you will have okay so this is the approximated figure from calculator square root of 33 is 5.7 approximately so i have put it in then i'm going to add this and then get our final value okay so this is what we have at this point and we can still proceed so we can get um, a decimal value x will be equal to 22 divided by 2 that will give 11 then decimal 7 divided by 2 that will give 3 there will be a remainder of um, 1 okay there will be a remainder of 1 then that remainder of 1, you're going to add 0 to it becomes 10. 10 divided by this is going to give us 5, right? Okay, so now we don't bother what's going to come next. So we can conclude that x is approximately equal to 11.4 to 1 decimal place. Or on this side, 11 divided by 2, that will give 5. There will be a remainder of 1. Okay, so I'm going to put this. It will cross over to this as we have 13. 13 divided by 2 will give us 6. There will be a remainder of, um, of 1. Then add 0 to that. So you have 10. 10 divided by 2 will give 5, right? Okay, so we approximate this to 1 decimal place as we have 5.8 seven okay so in conclusion we have our x1 now to be approximately 11.4 and then our x2 to be approximately 5.7 now let's check to know which of them will best satisfy the given equation so this is the original equation right so from here, let me put in the value of x1. If I put in x1, okay, I will have, okay, let me just go straight. x1 over there will now be square root of 11.4. Then plus, we have x here too. That means we have another 11.4. And this, oh, sorry, I'm writing out of sight. This can never be equal to 8 because 11.4 is already more than 8 so meaning that um, the first solution which is x1 approximately equal to 11.4 does not satisfy the given equation now let's try our um, our second value of x which is x2 and that will be square root of 5.7 remember this is approximated then plus x in place of x i have um, 5.7 again now this is going to give us an approximated value of 8.087 so since this is this can be approximated to 8 right so we can say that um x approximately equal to 5 point seven satisfies the given equation thank you for watching